Welcome back to MathClub.com. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to draw some pie charts. First of all, let's see the equipment. You need an ordinary protractor, 180 degrees, and a good set of compasses, ones which are not particularly loose, where the pencil doesn't wobble, and when you close them, the point meets up with the pencil nib. It is possible to draw around a circular object, but once you've drawn the circle, you need to find the centre, and it's going to be pretty hard to find it. Rachel asked 60 people to name their favourite green vegetable, and the results are in the table. So we got peas had 19 people, broccoli 15 people, lettuce 9 people, spinach 7 people, and other green veg, there were 10. There were quite a lot of other green veggies, um, in their 1s and 2s they were chosen, but instead of having their own category we just grouped them together um, as a group of 10. First thing we have to do is always find the total number of people. Uh, there were 60, it says in the question, but just add them up to check. So there's 60 people. Now, if we're going to draw a pie chart, a pie chart is drawn in a circle. And a circle consists of 360 degrees. So we actually have to go and scale those 60 to 360. So we can um, use a protractor and mark angles. So the scale factor has to be 360 degrees which we want, divide it by 60, and that is 6. So scale factor of 6, which means effectively we've got to multiply everything in the table by 6 to change it from 60 to a total of 360. So all of those are getting multiplied by 6. Um, so we can uh, add a column at the end here, and that'll be our angle column. And then we're just going to multiply all the frequencies by 6 and we're going 19 by 6 is going to be 114 15 by 6 is 90 9 times 6 54 7 times 6 42 and 10 times 6 is 60 now just add them up and you will find that they come to 360 so that's um what we can now do is draw the circle make sure it's a decent size the larger the more accurate it'll be uh, draw a circle remember to go backwards and forwards in arcs rather than try and do one um, a circle in one loop, just backwards and forwards, pressing hard so it's nice and regular. And the first thing now is to draw a vertical line from the centre, straight up. That's your start line. Now the first angle is 114 degrees, so you get the centre of the protractor. Centre of the protractor and put it on the centre of the circle and point the zero straight up along the line that you've just drawn. And then you count out uh, to 114, which is there. Put a little mark on the pa paper. Don't move your pencil because that's 114. Keeping your pencil dead still until the protract protractor's in place. And then you can draw your 114 angle. And that was for pens. Next one is 90 degrees. So again, protractor, line it up at the center of the circle. Center of the protractor. Line up the zero along the line you've most recently drawn and mark out. 90 degrees, press down with your pencil, do not move your pencil until your protractor is in place and draw your line. Same again with the 54 degrees for the lettuce, centre of the protractor, centre of the circle, the zero line of the protractor on the line you've just drawn and mark round to 54, don't move your pencil until your protractor is in place and draw a line to the centre. Then we've got spinach at 42 degrees, Centre of the protractor at the centre of the circle, zero line at the last line you drew, and go around 42 degrees. That's there. Don't move your pencil and draw your line to the centre of the circle. Now that leaves us our last line, which is 60. For other, uh, we don't need to measure that angle, um, although it's a very good check if you do. If it does come to 60 degrees, then you'll be pretty confident that we've done this pie chart completely correctly. This table gives the information about the numbers of fish in a lake. We have carp, pike, roach and trout. There's only four fish so there's no need for another category. 
and here's the total first thing we have to do is add them up to see how many fish um, they were all together so that's 0 8 and 10 that makes 1080 fish altogether now that's a lot bigger than the 360 that we need um, so we have to find the scale factor I always do largest over smallest so that's 1080 over 360 and that comes to 3 so the scale factor is 3 however this time we have to scale down um, the numbers in the table so we're not multiplying by three. we divide them all by three so we change the 1080 total to 360 total so again add another column and um, we're just going to go through each one and divide all of the frequencies by three so that comes to 112 pike is 87 roach is eight, uh, 38 and then the trout is 123 just check that should come to 360 which is perfect for the degrees in a circle so again we draw our circle um, remembering easier to draw a circle with several arcs which you join together than trying to draw one continuous arc which meets and then um, from the center of the circle straight up to draw your starting line and then we've got 112 so center of the protractor on the center of the circle zero line straight up to the line you've drawn measure around 112 touch your pencil down don't move your pencil until the protractor is in place to the center and draw your line so that's the 112 now we do the same center of the protractor center of the circle zero line in place and measure around for 87 don't move your pencil and draw your line next angle is 38 so measure center of the protractor center of the circle go around 38 careful draw your line and that's our four segments the last one should be 123 we'll measure it just to check and yes it's 123 so I've done this very accurately um, just label it If you want, uh, it is common practice to actually put the frequencies in there as well. This question is different in two ways. First, the frequencies are horizontal, and secondly, the scale factor is not a whole number. We do it in the same way, though. Um, first of all add up the totals to make sure you know how many you've got so these come to 240 and then work out the scale factor so biggest over smallest 360 over 240 comes to 1.5 so 1.5 we've got to scale all of the values in the table up to get 360 so we multiply them all since we're scaling up so multiply them all by 1.5 and we change the 240 total to 360 which is perfect for a circle so 90 times 1.5 is 135 60 goes to 90 50 goes to 75 and 40 goes to 30 um, 60 sorry so now again draw the circle as large as will fit in the space you've got to maintain its maximum accuracy and once you've drawn the circle um, vertical line straight up from the center and the first angle is 135 so center of the protractor on the center circle and zero line on the line you've drawn straight up measure 135 then we've got um, 90 degrees and then for bananas it's going to be 75 degrees And that should leave us six degrees for the other, which we can quickly check. And then all you have to do is fill in the fruit names with their frequencies.